Hi, my name is Troy Beekel and I'm from Premier Tech Horticulture's Grower Services Department. What I'd like to talk to you about is the use of pH and EC meters, what kinds to look at, how to calibrate them, and use them in your greenhouse operation. First, let's talk about the pH meters. As you can see, there's a wide variety of pH meters available on the market today. They're basically three different types, but represented in this picture are your pen types, which are your most common. You can, they're very portable, you can take them where you need to go. So you can take them out in the greenhouse or wherever you are preparing a sample and test there. Or there's also a desktop type, which basically stays stationary, you bring the samples to that and do your testing. Now with the pH meters, I have one represented here, there are a couple things you want to look for in purchasing a pH meter. Number one, uh, you want to try to get something that requires calibration. Any meter that does not require any calibration has a tendency to drift over time and lose accuracy. If you can't calibrate it, you don't know how inaccurate the reading may be. This particular one has a glass probe on the end. With glass probes, you have to store them in storage solutions, so they need to be stored wet. Just a thing to consider. With a pH meter, they're fairly easy to uh, calibrate. Uh, essentially, in most greenhouse situations or most growing situations, you're growing somewhere between four and eight. Hopefully you're not at those extremes. So when you select a pH meter, you want to select something that will be calibrated pH 4.01 and 7.01. They're very typical solutions. And in this particular case, we have a meter. We're going to go ahead and calibrate it. Now each meter is different uh, going into calibration, but essentially you want to take it into calibration. Well, with this particular one, you turn it off and it goes over to calibration and you would insert it in the calibration solution. In this particular case, you'd start with a 7.01. Next, once the, the, the actual monitor on it goes from a 7.01 over to a 4.01, then you would basically rinse it in your distilled water to get the solution off, dry it off, and then you would go ahead and insert it into the 4.01 solution. And then once that, that uh, meter starts to go you know, out of the calibration mode, it'll say CAL on the bottom, it'll go then into a reading mode. In which case, once the meter has been calibrated, you rinse it off, and you're all set to use it. Second one we want to talk about is our EC meter. And EC stands for electrical conductivity. It measures the fertilizer salts or any other salts coming from water. And again, there's a lot of different ones out in the market as well. Most of them are the pen type. They're fairly easy to use. They're generally one point calibration. And again, we recommend getting a EC meter that requires calibration. This particular one is fairly easy. You essentially put it into a calibration mode, take your calibration solution, and you'd put it inside the actual calibration cup. And we would just put that into the calibration mode itself. And then once the reading stabilizes, you're ready to use your EC meter as well. Now the calibration of our EC meter is completed. We basically are ready to use it to go out in the greenhouse and test soluble salts on water, fertilizer solution, or growing media. For more information on topics like this or any other topics, you can go to our website and I want to thank you for watching our presentation today. For more information about ProMix, visit our website and follow us on social media.